Okay, for 5.1 uh, function, okay, the learning outcomes for today is sketch the graph of function and the second one is take the domain of the range of the function. So for the today, uh, we are going to discuss cubic and absolute value function. Okay, for the cubic function, for the basic one, fx equals to x to the power of 3. So the shape of the graph is like this. So uh, we see that uh, from here, uh, x and x and y both are defined. So when x positive, you get y positive for this equation. When x negative, y negative. And for the domain and range, both are real number, negative infinity, infinity. While for fx equals to negative x cubed, we have this shape. Alright, so the domain still the same, real number, and range is real number. Okay, these are the, uh, the uh, a few types of cubic function. And when you see from here, y equals to 5x cubed for the red one. Uh, we have the coefficient 5 uh, for the, this one is a basic uh, cubic function. And this one, we have the coefficient 1 over 5. This one, we have coefficient negative 1. So uh, in these cases, we just want to know the shape not the accuracy of the graph. We just want to know the shape. Let's say uh, we have y equals to x cubed. So the graph is like this. Or if you have y equals to 5x cubed, the graph, the shape also like this. So we just want to know the shape, not the accuracy of the graph. Okay. For negative also, let's say you have y equals to negative 3x cubed. So just taking from left to the right. Okay, let's try for fx equals to x cubed minus 5. Okay, for this graph, uh, look at the x cubed here. This is the basic graph, x cubed. And if we have minus 5, meaning this graph is shift 5 units below x-axis. Okay, so this is the original graph. And the graph shift uh, 5 units below x-axis at negative 5. So for the both range and do domain and range are negative infinity, infinity where x and y are defined for this graph. fx equal to 8x cubed plus 4. So you do a basic graph, this one. And then you shift 4 units up. So this is a basic one. So from the right to left. And then you try to shift four units here. And then when, what is the domain? All x are defined, all y's, all y's are defined. Okay, next function, fx equals to negative 2x cubed minus 4. So this graph is uh, negative 2. So uh, we have from left to right. And then negative 4 is shift 4 units below x axis. So if you master it, so you just straight away from here. Yeah, negative 4. So the domain is negative infinity, infinity, 
and the range also negative infinity all x and y are defined all right for this exercise please do uh, for a and for b i show how to solve it okay for b this also is a cubic function because when you expand this part you get 2x cubed minus 2x squared so this is part of cubic function all right cubic function so how to sketch this graph okay um gx for the gx uh, there is a x intercept so let y is zero so you get zero to x squared x minus 1 so you get x0 and x1 this is the uh, x intercept okay so how to sketch the graph all right so the intercept is here 0 and 1 all right so because this is a positive the basic is shaped like this so if we go from here here and here okay so the domain and range still the same negative infinity infinity the range negative infinity infinity okay let's say if you do do not know how to sketch just take a value uh, x let's say you take x is 2 here you just substitute into this equation uh, you will get this is times 2 positive this is 2 minus 1 positive positive times positive you get positive here and then when you take uh, the value 0 0.5 here for example between 0 and 1 2 times 0 0.5 is positive 0 0.5 minus 1 is negative positive negative so you get negative here and then finally let's say you take negative 1 2 negative 1 squared is positive times 2 positive negative minus 1 negative so this one you have a negative below so you just drag your graph this one this one positive negative and negative okay okay absolute value function okay this is the basic graph of modulus x or absolute x function uh, fx equal to modulus x okay from this graph we see that for the domain uh, all the set of x are defined uh, all real numbers and then for the range we see that uh, all the set of y is always positive which is non-negative real numbers okay this one and for the second graph fx equal to modulus x plus b so we can see that more uh, plus b here is a uh, shift b units from uh, x axis okay uh, absolute value the shape of the graph is uh, type V V shape and then once you can sketch the graph after that you can find domain and range okay for the third graph fx, fx equals to negative modulus x means that the graph it translate to x axis which is uh, x uh, x as a uh, symmetry axis and then the next one is uh, 
fx equal to more, um, negative x plus b, meaning the same graph, but shift a b units from original, its original. Okay, the third graph, we have fx equals 2 modulus x minus a. So, for this graph, what must you do is, so just take uh, x minus a equals to 0. So, you, x, you get the x equals to a in the middle. And then, you put the V shape at a and then you get the uh, you get the graph. Actually, this is plus zero. Okay, for the same thing happened for modulus x minus a plus b. The same graph on your left is shift b units up from x axis. Okay, uh, for the absolute value function, so. Uh, we can summarize that fx equals to a modulus x minus h plus k. So from here, you can see that when a is positive, you get v shape. And then when a is negative, you get the opposite v shape. And then x minus h is actually a symmetry of x. You get x equal to h. And plus k meaning uh, either the graph is shift up or down. And at the same time, you can find the range. Okay, let's uh, start with fx equals to modulus x plus 2. So when x plus 2 equal to 0, we can solve it actually x equals to negative 2. Okay, after that. You put the coordinate negative 2, 0 there. And at the same time, actually this is plus 0. So y, 0. Okay, negative 2, 0. So that's the symmetry of x at negative 2. So you just put v shape there. So from there, we can find the domain. Domain all set of x negative infinity infinity and the range we start from y0 we start y0 and infinity okay fx equals to modulus x minus 3 so look at this the basic graph for fx so this is the basic one graph. So this is y equals to modulus x. And minus 3 meaning uh, the graph is shift 3 units from uh, the graph shift 3 units below x axis. Okay, so just put negative 3 down there. And then put a V shape here okay from this graph you can write the domain domain for absolute value is real number but for the range we can see that uh, the graph start from negative 3 comma infinity or we can write y greater equal than negative 3. Okay, we start fx equals to negative modulus 4x minus 4. Okay, this one. So what must you do is, you just uh, take out this part. 4x minus 4 equal to 0. So you have 4 x x equals to 1 so your graph is symmetry at 1 and then because this is negative so your shape of the graph become uh, this is 0 so your graph should be like this V shape okay so what is domain 
so all set of x are used and then so the range from the graph we see that we start y0 until below y0 and below so we get negative infinity comma zero close okay for this function fx equals to negative modulus x minus 5 minus 1 so there are three things that you must see from here this is one this is two this is three so what must we do first is x minus four equal to zero so you get x equals to four and then negative mean you have a v shape and then negative one means you have shift one unit below so what is a graph so x four and then negative 1, of course, because shift 1 unit below. And then you get this one, minus 1. So the domain is, from this graph, we can write the domain. Infinity, negative infinity, infinity, and the range negative infinity, negative 1. Close. Okay, fx equal to modulus 2x minus 1 plus 2. So this uh, part uh, we equals for this one equals to 0. So you get x equal to half. And this one is shift 2 units up. Okay, half and 2 units up. Alright, so the domain is negative infinity infinity and from the graph we see that to close to infinity all right this is exercise for you please try this